2 p.m. when we got reports of gunfire at Post Oak Mall in relation to uh, or around the area of the Zales Jewelry Store. Um, at this time, we believe that the sounds that were heard were most likely the sounds of breaking glass at the jewelry store at Zales. Uh, so again, that was 1.22 p.m. Um, because we had reports of uh, active shooting inside a mall, we did initiate an active shooter response to Post Oak Mall. Uh, so you probably saw the, the heavy police and uh, fire department and emergency medical response. Um, uh, we started to get the resources needed if that were the case. Uh, we were able to get some uh, react teams established and inside uh, and fortunately determined that there was no active shooter at the mall. Um, so what we have at this point is that as far as the incident that occurred at, uh, at Zales, um, that nobody was injured. Uh, our only suspect description at this time is three black males. Um, there was a vehicle that was stopped uh, leaving the mall parking lot that happened to be three black males. Uh, it's been determined that that is uninvolved uh, with, with this incident. Um, and so that's the, the, those guys, um, it, it was just unfortunate that they happened to, to match the, the vague suspect description that we had at the time, uh, including the, uh, a, a vehicle, uh, a, a vague vehicle description. Um, uh, at this time that all we have again is, is three black males um, and again we don't believe there's any description that you're giving out uh, we do not believe uh, we don't have a vehicle description at this time um, the vehicle description that we had uh, was in a silver Nissan um, however uh, at this time we do not believe that uh, a silver Nissan would be a, a accurate suspect description okay. So 122, when all this starts happening at the Zales, is the Zales on, on the north or south end of the mall? Do you know? I don't know, sir. Um, do you know who started calling that in? Was, was it employees or just uh, shoppers, customers? Uh, we got we got numerous calls. Okay. okay. And tell us about the, the process when, when you go into active shooter mode. What what exactly happened and what's, what's the process that the, that the police take and, and all the other agencies? Our number one goal is to stop the killing. So if, if there is an uh, active threat incident, whether that's uh, shooting or another method, uh, then our number one law enforcement goal is to stop the killing. Uh, so we're gonna respond with uh, as, as many personnel as we can muster, including from surrounding agencies. Uh, we're gonna uh, go towards this, arrive on scene, try to determine uh, is there any active incident going on. So when you get out of your car, do you hear sounds of gunfire? If you do hear sounds of gunfire, uh, start advancing towards it and try to stop the killing. Uh, once we've stopped, there's no sounds of gunfire, there's in a true active shooter incident uh, where you have injured people, then we shift from stop the killing to uh, stop the dying. And so that's where we train very closely with our firefighters, uh, with our paramedics, and we work to, to form uh, react teams uh, with the paramedics so that we can get them uh, into warm scenes that haven't necessarily been completely cleared so that we can get injured people uh, treated and evacuated uh, and to the next level of care as quickly as possible. What's going on at Wolfpin Creek? There's about 10 constables blocking Holloman right now. Not letting people in. Is that anything related to this? Uh, I'm not familiar with anything at Wolfpin Creek. I know there was a car that was stopped leaving the mall. I don't know if that's the location where they ended up. Uh, if it is, that's not related to this incident. So the, the suspects, going back to the, the three men uh, who left in a vehicle, we don't know where they are or you, it, any, any, anything more about that, them? That's correct. And we, do you know how many, you, uh, as far as weapons, nothing that, that you're able to confirm as, as far as them being armed or anything? Uh, at this time, there, there's uh, no uh, reason to believe that any person was, was ever placed in uh, um, other than hearing what people yeah. believe to be gunfire, uh, nobody was threatened with serious bodily arm or injury. Uh, nobody was injured. Uh, and so um, at, at this point, we're not even investigating a robbery uh, per se, because a robbery would be a theft plus an assault. Uh, we don't have an assault at this time. Uh, so uh, the, the highest level offense at this time that's being investigated is a theft. A theft. That would be taking, I'm assuming something from the jewelry case? Uh, it, it, it sounds most likely that the sounds heard were smashing glass at a jewelry store. Uh, so uh, a smash and grab is, is what's gotcha. most likely 
what's going on. What's the current status of, of the mall? Are people allowed back in right now? Or uh, Yes, people can resume normal activities. Anyone, our, our initial message to the public, to anyone inside the mall was to please shelter in place. Um, anybody that received that message can resume normal activities. People are allowed, that were evacuated outside the mall have been allowed back inside the mall. Um, our uh, SWAT team did respond to the scene uh, and, and linked up with each other. Uh, they've, um, they've been uh, told they can leave the scene. So. And do you, you don't know what they used to break the glass, do you? Um, I'm not certain. Um, I, I know there's, uh, uh, there were some witness statements that were made. Um, however, I, I, I'm not at this point in the investigation so that we don't interfere with the uh, the active status of it, I'm not at liberty to, to talk about the exact item that may have been used to break the glass. With it being spring break and this happening as well, is there any added police presence at the mall during this week or in general, do you know? Um, I actually don't know. Um, so with it, the, the mall is, is always a location just because of the high concentration of stores and our biggest uh, crime in College Station being property theft, that um, uh, that we do uh, often have property theft crimes occur at the mall. People try to steal from stores. Uh, if you're out shopping and you leave unattended bags or in plain sight in your vehicle and your vehicle's unlocked, um, then it's it, it's common to hear of people's property getting stolen, of stores' property getting stolen. Uh, it's often when an officer responds to the mall to take a property theft report that and when we do actually catch a suspect in the act that they have property that's been stolen from multiple stores. Um, as far as increased police presence, uh, it's just gonna be the responsibility of uh, patrol officers that are, that are assigned uh, to this area um, with all their other regular duties. So I don't know that anything would be increased unless the mall specifically hired uh, off-duty officers to work security for the mall uh, for this event. You know, it's still early, but as far as the response and the coordination and with, with all the other agencies, um, did everything go as planned when, for this kind of situation? Um, I know there's an after action debrief that's uh, occurring, uh, so uh, that's what will be explored and discussed. Uh, you know, it's, it's the message that you never want to receive uh, as, as a first responder or as a member of a community that there's possibly an active threat incident occurring in your community. Um, however, when we receive that message, then we respond to it like we tra we're trained to and we work with each other and we, tr we try to address the problem and solve the problem. Uh, so um, f one of the things that we can take from this is what went right and if anything could have been done better, what could have been done better so that we can better prepare for uh, it, the next time or for if this ever do uh, does actually become a reality. I think you might have touched on it, but as far as the specifics of what the theft was, I mean, you don't know the specifics of what exactly they took? Yeah. I don't know. I know it occurred at a jewelry store. So um, I could make an inference, but I don't know. I apologize. I was unable to get it on camera. No, no injuries, no, no uh, harm done to people. That's correct. Uh, no injured person has been located. So the Zales employees, like they're fine. No, no injured. Like none of the Zales employees at the jewelry store at the time of this uh, smash grab were injured. That's correct. Do we know how the suspects exited the mall? Like what store they left through? Like the uh, path they took? I don't know. So, um, if that information is, has been shared with investigators at this point, I don't. I don't know what that is. Um, we, we just know that the actors were three black males uh, and they've left, they're reported to have left the mall. So. Everybody good? Thank you.